Hi, it's Rebecca here from Blackbird and Finch, and today I'm actually coming to you from my house. Um, I wanted to introduce my lovely girls. Uh, as you can see, I'm a dog lover. Um, I have three uh, Wolfhound Bull Mastiff crosses. Um, I, when I say I, my husband and I both have them, they're not just mine. Um, and we love our girls. Uh, so I want to talk to you today about pets that are suitable for different types of properties. Now obviously I've got the three big girls, but my front yard, we're on a rural property, um, and my front yard is about three to four acres. Um, so the girls have lots of room to run around and play, and as you can see they're very loving and, um, and happy here. Now if I lived in town, uh, on a 600 square meter block, then the pet that I would choose would be quite different. Um, now as a tenant, you really do need to be respectful of owners. There's a lot of owners that aren't comfortable with pets um, and will choose not to allow pets in their property. So please be respectful of, of that. Now it is my experience that most pet owners will repair damages that their, co their, <laughs> their dogs cause, um, just like kids. If, it, if a kid accidentally slammed a door and, and cracked or broke the window, you would have to repair it. So just be mindful that you will be up for those costs because in Queensland, unlike other states, uh, we don't have pet bonds, um, which I think a, a lot of people would prefer, but it's something we just don't have at the moment. So, um, if you do have a pet, I have written a blog um, about tips um, to get approved on a rental property if you are, if you do have a pet. Um, so I'll put that link on this video. Um, so hopefully that gives you some information on on pets in rental properties.